this is some smoked paprika. Just go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of that on. <laughs> a little bit on, she said. <laughs> this is what we do. Hey everyone, I'm Claire Saffitz. I am not in my home kitchen. Today, for the first time, we are taking dessert people on the road. We have a very special guest. We flew all the way to LA to do this episode. I'm so, so excited. And together with my special guest, I'm going to make this recipe for crispy olive oil breadsticks. Do you know what we're making? Yes, yeah, so we're making like a breadstick of sorts. Yeah, so like a crispy, crunchy, they're really long and skinny. Yeah. I love making them, it's like a great party food. Totally. Not that I'm like throwing that many parties, but. Me either. I do a lot of baking. Yeah. But I do a lot of cooking also. Yeah. So I'm here, if you have other like burning questions about yes. cooking, yes. baking, whatever. You're like my no. cooking dictionary. <laughs> you know it. Before right. we do that, could we just get one clean intro? Because we just started talking. <laughs> it was really okay, nice, yeah, yeah. I love it, Sorry. let's go right into it. <laughs> So we're making crispy olive oil breadsticks, yes. and they're gonna be like really long and skinny and beautiful and kind of dramatic looking, yes. which I would be really fun. We have some all-purpose flour, semolina flour. So semolina is like a form of wheat that just adds like a lot of great flavor. Love it. And then sourdough starter, which we can talk oh. about, but don't don't freak out. It's just there for flavor. It's I'm excited. I love sourdough. Some active dry yeast, because that's really what's gonna give us the right texture. Kosher salt, olive oil, so like the dough has olive oil in it, which makes it really easy to work with. Just a little water for the dough, and then we have our toppings, which we'll get to those later. So we have a kitchen scale right here. Yes. But other than that, like no mixer, all you need are your hands. Oh my you're God, gonna amazing. do that part. Yes. <laughs> so, I was gonna say roll up your sleeves, but you're good. I'm good. So before we get into the recipe, I wanna thank our partner, Kava. And Emma, I know you've been working with them on some projects, so if you wanna tell us a little bit about it. Yes. Yes, so I made a bowl with kava, with all my favorite ingredients, especially the spicy hummus, because I am a spicy hummus girl. I love hummus in all forms, but spicy is my favorite. Some of the ingredients in the bowl. We obviously have the spicy hummus, because that's my favorite. We have some falafel, we have feta, of course. We have all the yummy veggies. Like, you gotta have the cucumber, you gotta have the tomato. We got all that going on. Also the olives, hello. Like, right? Truly one of my favorite foods. Same. It's just like a party in that bowl. It's really a party in the bowl. Would you call it a fire bowl? I would call it a fire bowl. <laughs> so good. So the inspiration for the recipe was really like what's gonna be like an ideal kind of like snacky, crunchy thing to yes. eat with the spicy hummus. And now we're gonna get back into the recipe. So first we're gonna do the dry ingredients. You can go ahead and add the semolina. Should I be no, no, sifting? Just, no, 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 just just dump, no, no, it's dump. very non-sensitive. <laughs> just dump. Okay, great. And then one teaspoon of active dry yeast. With bread making, we weigh everything because that is like more accurate. Yes, yes. So I have a scale for you there. Okay, and a little great. bowl. So go ahead and hit the button on the right just to turn it on. Okay. And you are going to weigh out 10 grams of salt. And that's probably gonna be like the equivalent of like two teaspoons. So you can like. Oh, we can dump. We yeah, can you dump. can dump. I like put in a little bit, it was like zero <laughs> still. I was like, okay. That can go into your dry ingredients. Amazing. And then go ahead and whisk that up. Okay, great. The whisk right there. Everything is in one bowl. Yes. It's really easy. So now we're gonna do the wet ingredients. Yes. So basic baking technique is like, you got your dry ingredients, you got your wet ingredients, you go wet into dry. So we're gonna measure wet separately. Great. So we have the water here that's already measured out. And then you're going to, so we're gonna put this on the scale. We're gonna just mix everything in here. Okay, great. You're gonna weigh out 75 grams of olive oil. Perfect. So it has olive oil in the dough. You said 75 grams, right? Yep, so then you're gonna mix the starter in. So you can use this, just like Amazing. scrape it in there. So I recently fed it. This is like a thing where you have to feed starter oh, yeah. to the pet. Did you fly with that? I flew with it. No That's why I had to check a bag. Stop. <laughs> that is so amazing. I know. It, imagine like you bring your starter and you forget to put it in your checked and then yeah. they make you throw it out. Like that's oh, something to cry about. I've been bad. So it, it creates gas. Like that's what's happening. Right. It's like the yeast and bacteria in the starter are like feeding on the flour and creating gas and right. lactic acid. And so it like expands. And so I had to like leave some room so it didn't like explode, explode. in my luggage. Imagine you like take out your pants and you're like, like, but I've learned my lesson from stuff like that happened yeah. to me before. So it's like this is going getting like triple bagged. Totally. But it made it. And also I think was sort of like under refrigeration in the 
plain. Literally, which is <laughs> so kind of worked. amazing. Yeah. So go ahead and stir that together. Okay, great. We're done with these. Should I use whisk or this? You can switch to a whisk. That'll help to just kind of break up the uh, starter a little bit. Great. I love anything with lots of olive oil mm. in it. Like olive oil cakes and yeah. things like that. Like it's just my favorite. And it makes this dough really easy to work with. Like anytime you have dough that has oil added to it, yeah. it like kind of, you know, it basically like greases it. Right. And so you, right. it doesn't stick. Yes. It works really well. Okay, so I think you're good. Okay, so you're great. gonna go ahead and use your hands to make like a, <gasps> what we call a well in the center of the ingredients. So like a little hee <laughs> hee. Exactly. Okay, cute. Have you ever made like fresh pasta? I actually have. Okay, so this is, this is just like that. It's like, but I kind of made my friend do all the kneading. <laughs> well that's, it's a lot I of work. You do. But I can do this, like this then. is easy. And then you can use this if you like and just start to kind of bring it together. A lot of recipes, and this is like a thing that I think about a lot as someone that like writes recipes. It's yes. like, you're constantly like telling people like what could go wrong. Yeah. But the totally. truth is that like, you have to like screw it up pretty bad. Right. For it to actually not really turn into like a thing that you can eat. You know a thousand I mean? percent. Like, and also a lot of it is appearance. And like for me, mm -hmm. I'm all about the taste. <laughs> Listen, I want it to look good, but also if I'm cooking for myself and it looks yeah, yeah, awful, yeah. but it tastes good, that's all I care oh, about. Oh, half the stuff I make for myself looks atrocious. Okay, that's good to but know. But it tastes good. Exactly. Yeah. So, so now that, you have a, like mostly hydrated the flour. Yes. You can turn everything out onto the work surface. Oh, fun. You're gonna use your hands now. Should I like, okay. Oh. Any kind of flour bits you can take out of there as well. Great. So that'll all get mixed in. So now it looks like super shaggy and still kind of dry in places, uh -huh. but you're gonna now knead it okay, to great. smooth it out. I always wanted to oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. So you want to sort of, it's like this kind of pushing motion of yes. the dough. And then you're full, you already are doing it. Claire, I've seen every one of your videos. <laughs> okay. There you go. Like I know, <laughs> I am like literally the uh, kneading queen now, but I've always like- Well, you're nailing it. Watched you guys knead stuff, right? And yeah. I'm like, oh, it looks like so I wanna do that. like therapeutic. And it does feel really good. It feels like I'm like getting like out anger. It's also definitely going to be an arm workout in about 60 seconds. <laughs> one time I was actually baking muffins and I was like, uh -huh. this dough is just like, Awful, like what is going on? Anyway, I forgot to add milk. And I, and I was like, and I literally was beating myself up. I was rereading the ingredients like for in, I was like, what is it? Anyway, yeah, it was milk. So it was just like, really dry. Just like really thick. It was, I was like, I just made granola somehow. Like this is supposed to be, yeah, it was so really. So what did you do? So then I added the milk <laughs> and then it was fine. And they were fine. Oh, see, look at this. It's turning into a real, Yeah. I can knead dough all day. I kind of want to work in a bakery just so I can like knead things and you know, honestly, that's kind of my dream is to like work at a cafe and like make little pastries and oh. make coffee for people. I mean. I feel like you could do that. I know. I kind of think about it sometimes. I'm like, that would be so fun. Also, it's feeling moister. Yeah, it, it should be kind of, you know, as it's hydrating, it should yeah. kind of like loosen up a little bit, but you can kind of let it pick up all those little bits. Okay, great. We can also flavor the dough itself, which is kind of fun. Wow, oh. So we have a couple options. We can talk about what we want to do. Okay, great. And I thought it would be great to flavor it in a way that would be complementary to the hummus. Totally. So we have some turmeric mixed with other spices like coriander and cumin, so it's kind of it's has that. Vibe. Exactly. And then we also have some tomato paste and some, this is smoked paprika. Oh yeah. That I thought would be really a nice complement to the harissa and the spicy hummus. Yes. So I thought we would do sort of, we can do like one plain, yes. and then one sort of falafel spice and one sort of tomato paprika-y. Okay, cool. That looks really gorgeous. All right, I'm honestly good. proud of it. Yeah. Like I feel like really. Oh, it feels great. It looks great. That thing is so fun and dangerous. I'm excited. <laughs> Go ahead and divide it into thirds. It doesn't have to be precise. Okay, perfect. We'll do a little like this. So that's called a bench scraper. And it's good for like lifting doughs and you know. Scraping. 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 <laughs> and scraping. Or but if you're cooking, this is a good example of like how yes. baking and cooking, like it's all kind of on a spectrum. When you're like chopping onion or something, as you're right. making something, it's like, and you have it on your cutting board and you want to get it into a pot, you use this to like right. lift up all the, you know. I know, well, you already know. Check, it, check me out. <laughs> <laughs> it feels good. Perfect. It feels really good. Okay, I'll do one and you do one. Okay, because great. Because I don't, sorry to make you do all the work. So when you're working with dough and you're gonna let it do its first rise, you want to do something called shaping it. See the like strands? Yes. Those like stretchy little things in there? Yes. That's this like network of gluten that we've made because we've kneaded this dough. Love it. And you want to kind of like stretch the gluten around the dough oh. and make it into like a little ball. Oh. So you're kind of like taking the ends and like tucking them under. 
Got it. And kind of stretching it out. And you can also like do it on the work surface where you kind of cup your hands around it and kind of roll it around. <laughs> Making a little snowball. That's perfect. To throw at the cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> You want to flatten it. It does not matter what the shape is. The idea here is you're just like making a lot of surface area yes. for the dough to incorporate. Great. Okay, so then you're going to take your tomato paste. We kind of do it by sight. Okay, and like great. you can always add more. Great. But I would say like six or seven little dollops. Like just like right out of the tube. Or teaspoon. Like the size of like my pinky nail. Okay, great. Like small. One, two, Three. It's really hard for me not to draw a smiley face right now. The color intensifies as it sits. This is some smoked paprika. Just go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of that on. <laughs> a little bit on, she said. <laughs> we'll just, this is what we do. Should I like roll her? Yeah, you can kind of roll it. Okay, great. And then kind of like fold it in half again. Okay, get it into like a little bundle. Yep. And now you're gonna start kneading and this is where it might get like a little yes. messy. Got it. But just with that same motion and I'm gonna do the turmeric. And then this will also kind of be like by sight slash taste. Great. We're basically just gonna work this until the color is kind of evened out. Love it. So these now have to rise. So Great. we're gonna put them aside and actually we can put them back in the same bowl. And just because, I mean, we could let them all rise separately, but we don't really have to. You can just yeah. seriously put them all next to each other. So we're gonna let it sit in a warm spot covered until it's like about doubled in size. Great. And then we're gonna form up. <gasps> Yay! So here we have the proof dough, you can feel the, the bowl's a little warm. If you're ever proofing dough, yeah. you need to like speed up the process a little bit because yeah. it's temperature sensitive. Yeah. So you can put it in a warm spot. So what I did was I turned the oven on its lowest temp oh. and then turned it off. Great. And then put the bowl in. Hack. So it's been, yeah, exactly. Love it. Some ovens have what's called a proof setting where oh. it's like 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, a That's lot of them fancy don't. mode. It's fancy, exactly. So here we go. So this dough is proofed. Here, so go ahead and poke it. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, doesn't it feel good? Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> it's like a little baby. It's it feels so fun. like a baby. <laughs> That's kind of creepy of me. I'm gonna eat that later, but anyways. Go ahead and grab. <gasps> and you can just kind of pull them apart. Like it's okay if a little bit oh. of one gets on the other. And so we want to deflate it. So you can go ahead and kind of work it like this is all. So all that kind of oh, gas built up. It feels so beautiful. Oh, it's so warm <laughs> and soft. Oh, by the way, everything's vegan. Oh. Look yes. at that. Yes, I know that you eat very plant-based. Yes. And actually, I am trying to do that more. Really? I keep saying that I'm vegetarian, although, it, and then I keep it's trying hard. to eat meat. I'm mostly vegetarian these days. Sort of. I get it. But it's more of like an attitude and an approach. Yes. And about like making the choice when you can. That's what I tell myself. Totally. I think the hardest thing for me if I went vegan would yeah. be eggs. My husband and I keep chickens. Not in the city. We have like a little cabin. Yes. Nearby. Yeah. So, I want to do that. And now I love chickens. Of course. They're so fun. Oh yeah. They're, he keeps being like, they're not your pets. And I'm like, but yes, they are. they are. <laughs> so now we want to roll this out so we can form them. So Great. this part is also like not super precise. You just want to kind of flatten it out and then we're going to cut strips. So I feel Great. like, I, I can kind of show you one. This is probably like six inches mm -hmm. sort of wide. And then you can just kind of lengthen it. It doesn't have to be really that even. And that's all. So we're gonna do that to yours. Wow, look at that shape. <laughs> look Perfect. at that shape. <laughs> okay. Listen, it's cute to have it a little uneven. People love it. No, it doesn't, and it totally doesn't matter. Okay, good, gorgeous. Okay, so here, I'm gonna let you do the first one. So <gasps> you're basically gonna take this and you're just gonna cut strips. Okay, though, that looks great. Okay, great. Okay, so I'll do a couple, two, okay, and then great. we can form them together. Yours look really gorgeous. That looks the same. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, yours already look like breadsticks I want to eat for some reason. I feel like they should be rolled thinner than you think. Yes. They should be, mm -hmm. because they'll puff up a little bit in the oven. Right. So do you want to go ahead and repeat that with this dough? I'm gonna yes. move, I can move this out of your way. Okay, this one I'm really gonna like nail it. Like this one I'm nailing. I almost feel like we're telling the world our like new easy party snack, and now it's like, I feel like we could have lied to everybody and been like, these are 48-day breadsticks that took that long. <laughs> you should be grateful that I made it for you guys. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's fine. We're, we're, we're just being nice. To well, it's like it should either take 48 days or, or 48 hours or seconds. whatever you said. Or 48 seconds. Yeah. And no in between. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to form them. And, but first, I'm gonna have you prep our baking sheets. So Great. we have parchment paper and you're just gonna drizzle some olive oil and then see that brush right there? Yes. You're just gonna brush the big, like the parchment with the oil. The brush is really good. I actually think it's an underrated kitchen tool in my opinion, because I feel like there's so many things you can do with it. Yes. Emma, what is your favorite kitchen tool? One thing I got was one of those little timers. Oh, that's the a, what an interesting one. answer. Well, I always recommend a small offset spatula, my favorite kitchen tool. 
you don't have one, I'll send you one. Oh my God, I don't have one. <laughs> I need one. So here's what we're gonna do. Okay. So we're gonna roll these out. You just kind of separate them if you need to, but like Great. they're pretty, they're pretty good. This part's really easy. The dough, because it rested, yeah. is really, the word is extensible, uh -huh. meaning like it can extend. So Great. we're gonna roll them out really long. So what helps you to like apply even pressure and yeah. roll it out evenly is if you spread your fingers a little bit. And then you just kind of, all you do is roll back and forth. And see, this dough yes. is a little bit, oh, yours is doing better than mine. <laughs> I'm having <laughs> problems, good. yours looks amazing. Oh and then God. you kind of start in the middle and like work your way out. That That'd looks so good. good. Wait, Claire. Yes. Should I lay her? Yeah, that would be like a, just a Oh my God, she one. totally looks like a breadstick. Brush uh -huh. the dough, uh -huh. some of the oil, and that just gives, it's something to stick to. And then just take the seeds and kind of like go like that. Oh. And then you just roll it in it. Wait, fun. It's okay. really fun. See, that's what's like fun about this. You know what I mean? When you're not also like throwing a party in an hour. And also like when people show up early. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> I tell myself people are starting to show up at three when I tell everybody four, just yeah. in case. Yeah. Because it just. Yeah, but I'm still, but I can't lie to myself. It's like, I know what I know. I know. People. I'm like literally <laughs> lying and gaslighting myself. I'm like, Oh no, people are coming. No, out people too. show up and I'm like, I have to get in the shower. I know, I oh didn't, God. I didn't. Accounting for shower time is huge. Yes. Because it's like, then, you know, I hate when people show up and I'm all like wet. Like I feel like a little wet yeah. dog. And no. then, well, and you know what the worst thing is like, and I have made this mistake many times. Yeah. And it's hard, but I'm always like, I maybe made it to the finish line, mm -hmm. which is like, I'm showered and the food is ready and people yes. are here, but then I'm exhausted and I'm like, I have to go. And you're like, I actually don't I, want to be here for I'm like, I, I'm like, you guys enjoy, I'm gonna go in the bedroom and take a nap. I've actually done that. <laughs> I've had a barbecue and midway through the day, I was like, I don't want to be here anymore, <laughs> but I'm at my own house. So here, this is like super flaky oh, salt. I love flaky salt so much. It's probably like even something that's so good when it's soft. Yeah, I mean, I definitely was like eating them right out of the oven. The thing is, right? this is like a secret. Yeah. Everything is good right out of the oven. Even something that's not good when it's cool. Totally. Is still good when it's hot. You can't, I know. Okay, okay we did it. We did it. These look gorgeous. Thank you. Here we have our formed breadsticks. You, I want to commend you, Emma, on your you have very even, like really excellent rolling technique. Oh my god! Thank I'm very you. impressed. I was so nervous. <laughs> it's not bad. They're not bad. I've seen worse. Super easy. We don't have yeah. to let them rise. They're just gonna go straight in the oven. I have it preheated to 425, and they only bake for like around 15 minutes. Easy. Super easy. Party ready. Even if people were like showing up, you could do this now. Totally. All right, I'm, I have actually both ovens preheated. So oh I'm going to stick amazing. one in the top and one in the bottom. Great. Breadsticks are in. I set the timer for 15 minutes. Yes. We'll check them. We, then we want to pull them out and then let them cool completely. Yes. And then we'll come back and taste with our spicy hummus. Yes! These have been baking for like 17 minutes. They went a little longer than I thought. Mm -hmm. I, do you want to try to overcome your fear of the oven? Yeah, I'm, get, I'm getting over the fear of the <laughs> oven today. Here, these will be fine. These will protect you. I feel... I feel good because I have mom here. You know what I mean? Like, so we got this. I had a feeling I was gonna give like mom vibes. With I this mean, whole you're kind of giving more like big sister vibes. Oh, I would that say. feels so much better. Okay, Thank yeah. you. You're, you're... Makes me feel better about my age. No, but also like I feel like everyone's my mom. Like it's it's you know what I mean because I feel like I'm a child still. I'm 20, but anyway. Oh, Emma. I know. How am I doing with oven? Amazing. Okay, good. So these are hot. So they're still a little bit soft, yeah. Um, but they're nice and golden brown, and we'll let them cool on the cooling racks, and then they'll kind of crisp up, and then we're ready to taste with the spicy hummus. So excited! Yeah. So now we're gonna taste them, but to serve, which I think is really nice if yes. you're like entertaining. Again, something I keep saying that I don't really do, but you can put them in like a tall glass or a jar. It's so cute in the jar. I think the um, the colors turned out really well. Oh, so good. Honestly, it looks like a really classy restaurant. Which one are you gonna try first? <sighs> Ooh, that, know, that's she has a, good a little one. bit of everything. Yeah, that's a good one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which I one are like you, you going chose for? Well. I'm gonna choose plain, but with yeah. sesame seeds. Look at us go. I feel like they're really kind of like elegant and cool. They're so elegant. Ooh, Ooh. that was a good snap. <laughs> that was a good snap. That was a really good snap. I'm gonna swipe it in. Yeah, get get in there. So I feel like the olive oil makes it really crispy. Plus the starter, it's like it's a yes. vehicle for the hummus, but it also is tasty on its own. Totally. Mm. 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 Yes, mm. it's so flavorful mm. with the salt. The salt is so good. And the, se Ooh. the sesame is so good. It's mm. got some kick to it too. It's really good. Yeah. Mm. The flaky salt is crazy. Good. The hummus is really well balanced. Oh yeah. Like, and it's 
perfect with these. Like it's like, mm. this is mild and mm. boga. You kind of made like your first sourdough recipe. Kind it was of. so easy. Like I, I was shocked at how easy it was. And it was so fun. Like the kneading is mm -hmm. like not tedious. It's actually an enjoyable experience. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I didn't feel like I was, it wasn't work. And yeah. that's like, I think people always are intimidated by bread related things because they're like, this is going to be work. Yeah. But it's actually fun work. I think it's like the perfect little crunchy thing to have along with the spicy hummus. Yeah, it's perfect. Also like, I don't know, the, the different things that you can do with this and then this is just already like, it, it's like two bangers together. How can you go <laughs> wrong? Party, <laughs> snack, success. Thank you so much for joining us for a video for dessert people. This was so fun and you need to teach me more things. I'm always here for you. Okay, great. Thank you, Emma. It was a pleasure. Thank and you. And thank you to our partner, Kava. And don't forget to like and subscribe.